disclaimer, this is not a paid advertisement or endorsement or anything like that. It's something that worked that I didn't think was going to work, and it did, and I'm amazed, so I figured this is something, you know, I should do. Backstory on this. I picked up this Suzuki uh, a few weeks ago. It had been sitting for years. Carburetors were clogged. So I wanted to get this thing running. I threw a battery in it. I popped the carburetors off of it. And they, now you have to understand, it's like 10 o'clock at night. It's gorgeous out. It's like 75 degrees. I want to ride this thing. So what I do is I pop the carburetors off it. I take the bowls off. I blow through all of the jets with a piece of wire. And I slam it back together again. And I go for my midnight cruise. And I'm satisfied. I'm happy. But I know I didn't really do a thorough job on the carburetors. Next day, I go to ride the bike. And it's got a lean stumble, right? Just like, just just off go. It's got a lean stumble, and it's got a lean surge. And I read the plugs, and they're all sh they're all showing lean. And these things run lean to begin with, because remember these were calibrated. These carburetors with the stock jets are calibrated for the old style gas, not 10%, which is what we use here. So they run on the lean side anyway. This was it wasn't an enjoyable ride. Okay, so in other words, like you're doing 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, just off idle right you know you know just just off the idle stop on the throttle and it's surging and everything it's lean you give it some gas you get it to the main jet she goes good so i says all right i gotta take these carburetors off again i'm just not feeling taking these carburetors off again so i says let's try one of these additives right sea foam sea foam i keep hearing about sea foam i've heard about sea foam my whole life i says let me give this stuff a try now mind you i've never used anything i i consider it all voodoo in a can for the most part and we tested that restore stuff didn't get any good results out of it so he says before i pull the carburetors back off of this thing and actually go through a, you know, a fine cleaning or replace the pilot jets because the pilot jets are tiny tiny right let me give this a try so i go to the auto parts store i look at it I says, okay i'm gonna buy this i felt stupid buying it i felt stupid buying it okay but i says you know what what could it hurt so fill up the tank i throw it says to use two ounces Per gallon right I ended up using like three ounces per gallon ran through the tank didn't notice any difference as I was getting to the bottom of the tank the bike started running worse I'm like mm, one more try we'll try we'll, we'll, one more day with this so I fill up the tank again add another three ounces of this this morning I jump on a bike to take it for a ride the lean stumble is gone the surging is gone right this thing actually got in there this stuff actually got in there and cleaned the pilot jets. I'm stunned, I'm amazed. Nobody is paying me to make this video. I bought this at an auto parts store. This is not a paid endorsement. Just something, it, it actually worked. If you find yourself in a similar situation, give it a shot. Or maybe one of the other ones, like doesn't necessarily have to be Seafoam, could be any of them, right? Try it, it may actually work for you. It worked on this thing, I'm thrilled. It saves me like two hours having to pull these carburetors back apart and do all the other stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.